Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Chaosticle. Thanks for joining me for another video and today I want to cover another episode which this one is episode number number four. If you guys did miss the rest of the episodes, I did cover the ball, the all the variants for the Ball 27, AK-12 and ARX-160. If you guys did miss those episodes, those will be linked down in the description and the playlist will also be on screen in a card for for all of you mobile viewers so let's jump straight into it so the first one i want to talk about is the hbr a3 super elite and the fire rate goes down by one and the mobility goes up by one i haven't played too much with the with the super elite but it does seem like a pretty interesting one so maybe i have to give it a go maybe do it in a future video i'm always down with it as long as you guys want to see it so the next one is the hbr a3 average joe so i'm not sure if this one is named after someone but average joe seems interesting maybe i have to give it a go i don't know it's whatever you guys want to see on the channel but anyways let's talk about the upsides and downsides to this one so the damage goes up by one and the range goes up by one and the handling goes down by two the damage it's going to hit the enemies harder than the uh, original uh, variant but the range also goes up by one and the handling goes down by two handling doesn't really get to me but the average joe does seem like an interesting weapon if you guys have played with it let me know down in the comment section below i really want to try and give this one a go and see how it plays out but next up let's talk about the hbr a3 lead launcher now this one the accuracy goes up by one and the fire rate goes down by two and the handling also goes up by one so the accuracy goes up by one okay it's it's going to keep on target better but you're not going to tell much of a difference which is that upside by one but the fire rate goes down by two which really sucks now i was playing the variant that you're seeing in this video is the bear fist that's the one that i'm using for this video it does take quite a bit of hits depending on your attachments that you have but the lee launcher does seem like an interesting one and now let's talk about the hbr a3 raider and now this one the accuracy goes down by one fire rate goes up by one and then the mobility goes up by one next up we got the hbr a3 competition and now this one the damage goes down by one and then the range goes up by one next up we got the hbr a3 cowboy and before i jump into this one just the name of it says cowboy i just want to let you guys know that they are bringing a uh, exo loadout which is i think it's called cowboy because it's it's got the hat cowboy and it's also got the exo suit cowboy which it has ropes around it it just looks badass and michael condre recently tweeted out saying that it's going to be a part of the ascendance dlc man they are just absolutely blowing it up with this dlc they are coming out with the new exo ability a new exo loadout it's just going to be insane and i can't wait to try it out so that's why i wanted to stop that and say because the variant called cowboy just reminded me of the exo loadout that they're bringing to advanced warfare which is a cowboy loadout so i have to try and give that one a go but anyways let's talk about this variant so there's only one downside to this one and that's the accuracy honestly i would actually even use it i always look for the upsides you know when you get a variant you want to be like okay is this one better than the original one but this one for some reason goes down but the, i'm not too worried i guess i am just a little bit because even with the elite weapon in which I'll talk about next what you're seeing in this gameplay it took me so many hits just to kill an enemy and for the accuracy to go down 
I that one is I'll probably never even use cowboy to be honest with you so let's talk about the one that you are seeing in this video which is an elite version of the HBRA3 which is called bear fist and this one the accuracy goes down by one and then the range goes down by one and then the handling goes up by two so that's the HBR a3 bear fist and I absolutely do love this one but I cannot wait to get the HBR a3 insanity and this one is also an elite version which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do have the insanity and plus if you guys do have the HBR a3 insanity please just please send me a gameplay to chaos to cool business at gmail.com and you guys can send me uh, a gameplay but make sure it's just the gameplay no no live commentary if possible just so i can talk over it maybe i'll use it in a future video but i do not have that one but i do have the variant for it the damage goes up by one fire rate goes up by two and the handling goes down by one and now these other ones that i don't have the variant for but i I do have the upsides and downsides to them so the first one is adapter so it's a hbr a3 adapter which is an unlisted version of the hbr a3 the handling goes up by one accuracy minus one and then the other one is the hbr a3 sport which is the unlisted version of the hbr a3 and the accuracy goes up by one range minus one so that's the variance for the hbr BRA3, that's every single variant that you guys would be able to get within Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Let me know down in the comment section below which ones you guys have, which ones you guys want to wanna see in a future video. If you guys do have the adapter, sport, or the insanity, please send me a gameplay and I'll use it for the future video. Again, the email address is chaostical business at gmail.com and then i will use it and then i'll also give you all the credits for that video so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up subscribe leave a comment below and if you guys are new subscribers don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button i keep you guys up to date with all the latest call of duty news and i will see you guys again in my next video